Merchants of Doubt is really a film about deception. Uh, it's about understanding how we're being deceived across multiple industries. Uh, it's not about any one particular issue. Uh, but ultimately, the biggest deception of all is the destruction of the planet for profit. And hopefully, um, we can stop that in time. When I was making Food, Inc., I went to a hearing on whether we should label cloned meat. Uh, I didn't even know there was such a thing as cloned meat. But uh, a representative got up and said, I don't think the, com the consumers should know uh, about this. We shouldn't label it. It's not in the interest of consumers to know this. And I thought, that's a very bizarre statement. And we looked into it, and it was groups like the Center for Consumer Freedom that were trying to stop us from knowing what we're eating. And then we started finding other groups, and there were all these Orwellian names, Citizens for Fire Safety, which was just the opposite of what they say they were, um, Non-Smokers Alliance, which was out to help keep smoking rights everywhere. Uh, and I thought that was a strange, interesting world that started to intrigue me. Uh, and then I read Naomi Oreskes and Eric Conway's book, Merchants of Doubt, which was sort of about the ideological factor of real top-level scientists who started to turn against science in favor of their own ideological beliefs. And it started to feel like there was a movie in there. Um, and then ultimately what became most intriguing was meeting some of the people themselves who were helping to sow doubt about a number of inconvenient science issues. Uh, and they were amazingly interesting, smart, charming, and I think potentially damaging characters. I, I don't view governments as the enemy. Uh, I don't necessarily view corporations as the enemy, but some of them are acting in their own short-term self-interests that will really even go against their corporations and their families. Uh, I read a quote recently from Jack Benny, the famous old comedian who was notoriously cheap and he talked about being held up at gunpoint and uh, the thief said, your money or your life. And Jack Benny said, well, give me a few minutes to think about this. And I think that ultimately we have certain corporations that are taking the money over their lives. Uh, and it's a very short-term solution. Inconvenient science is something that gets in the way of profits for corporations uh, or is promoting regulations, uh, so it gets in the way of ideology. Um, and when this happens, the scientists themselves become the target. And they are not prepared for it because they just think they're doing science. They're looking after, you know, they've been trained to think they're doing good for the world. And all of a sudden, they're now becoming, uh, they're under the microscope and they're being attacked. Uh, and it's very extraordinary, these people who have just wanted to study how the world works and their work is now considered very controversial and dangerous. Definitely a lot of interest out there uh, and um, I hope like Food Inc. and Inconvenient Truth we will tap into that but to be seen. But I, I, I see this not so much as a follow-up to Inconvenient Truth in that it's really it's more about deception than it is about climate. It's just that climate is the ultimate deception.